Fuck them all. From MacArthur Park. Harmontown is now in session. We're, good. We're doing a giving away sale right now. Everything must go. Let's bring out a 1994 Rob Schraub. A 1994, almost mint condition Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub, only 4,000 miles on him. The all-new 2020 Spencer Crittenden. Twenty twenty dice, four-wheel drive, and let's bring out the nineteen seventy-three mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Oh boy! Thank you for coming oh, yeah. to my show. Thank, oh, you. thank you, Laura. Thank, thank, no, you're not thank done. You. You're not done. We got two hours. The whole show. She has to do that for two hours. <laughs> yeah, everything must go. <laughs> uh, that that bit was pretty pretty classic, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> classic Jeff. He's like, like two minutes before the show. He goes. <laughs> she, she got she got walk off applause. Should we should we should we? Oh yes, Laura, everybody. The. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she knew it was a self. I don't want to be like Trump, but she knew what she signed up for. Uh, but but she th- th- that's her Halloween costume. And then Jeff was like, like should we should we have her go out and do this thing? And I'm like, I'm like anything you want. Is, uh, and, and then yeah, and then, we're fun. And then we're about to go out. And Jeff's like, so, so so how should I do it? How should we do it? And I'm like, well, you do it like this. Is like, nah, I don't. <laughs> you kind of like, and I was like, well, I guess maybe like a used car thing, and like, a, yeah. then you can introduce us each as if we're like the bit cars, we just saw, you know. <laughs> Pretty close. The, the, the bit you just saw for five dollars every month. <laughs> but then you're like, let's bring out a 1994 Spencer Critton, and I'm like, well, maybe a couple more car phrases before. Oh, you want to do it again? We, we no, can start it over. I don't want to do it again. How, how about we? How about we do the whole thing over again? But you, you are me, and you, you do, no, no, you no, introduce no. everybody. Can no, I wear no, the no. costume? Yeah, no. no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like uh, pimping the audience to. to you you to, just like haranguing me for not doing it. I right. just, I just thought it was kind of funny. It was like it's just classic. It like, you're like, should we do this? Yes, we should. And you're like, how? <laughs> how do we do it? But, um, <laughs> <laughs> we flashed. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I went to uh, Norway. <laughs> I was at a, an animation festival in Fredrik, Fred, Fredrikstad. Oh, great. I, I think your story will have to be on hold for at least five minutes. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? No. <laughs> Rob's got a table clock. Ro- Rob is... God, five dollars, everybody, you can watch. <laughs> it's Nosferatu. <laughs> what? It, <laughs> I, what are the eyebrows? The eyebrows are like, I did it. I nailed it. What did you do? You didn't do anything. You Yeah. <laughs> what are you did? Yeah. I got off of a, one of your piece of shit chairs, and there's a stack of considerably more comfortable chairs right there. A stack. A stack with cushions. And a Dracula cape. So I shit my pants uh, in, at in uh, Norway. Well, on the plane. Oh no! From 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 Norway to Heathrow. Oh. And the whole uh, time. I thought. Well, I was kind of sitting in it without knowing it the whole time. How do I, you not know you shit your pants? It no, happens. It happens. It happens. <laughs> I, wo- I woke up. I, thi- I think you know. I think you know. <laughs> yeah. I, at least no. you're, su- you're suspicious. Yeah, well, you are a, suspicious. This is a first. Like I did, the first time. Now, I, I, as we know, I've had many stories where I didn't know 
what I thought was a fart was a shit, and then, but then, but then it pretty much the story ends with it coming out into my pants. But this was different. I, uh, I woke up from the hotel room the day of our departure, and I was kind of blowing a lot of farts. I drank a lot of beer and ate a lot of d- d- delicious stuff, and I'm just farting all over the place. And they're, they're big, empty, windy farts, you know? They're not really hurting anybody. They're not bothering anybody. They're just sort of... Victimless farts. Yeah. <laughs> they're loud and fun, and, and uh, we're laughing about them. Like, burr, 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 burr. And uh, we get we get we get to the airport. We get on the airplane, and, uh, and you know, and I got I got another big one brewing in me, but I'm not gonna do it on in the cabin. This is a flight from Norway to Heathrow, then connecting back to uh, L.A. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. How long a flight is that? London being the Chicago of Europe. Right. So this is what this is what like a two hour flight, two and a half hour flight. Three? Yeah, two hour two hour flight. Okay. Uh, on a, on a, on, a, on one of those flights where they they're happy to take your first class money, uh, but the plane is simply a bus. Um, <laughs> and for your first class money, what they'll do is they'll take that money and they'll they'll put a tray in in the middle seat in the front four rows. <laughs> So those people all paid extra money so they didn't have to put their arm, rub their arm on a poor person. <laughs> and that's first class. But the, you can't buy people not rubbing your fucking head as they walk by, people bumping you with their jackets. I mean, it's, everyone's crammed in the same it's, fucking That's why you got to get the window seat, baby. Uh, no, that, that would be Cody. She gets the window seat. But... Uh, <laughs> I, I so I go to the bathroom during that flight and I'm peeing and you know how men when we pee like if you've ever been in a public restroom with men at urinals like they 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 take the opportunity and maybe it's partially it's kind of it kind of happens while you're peeing it tends to happen it's like a time to fart um, and, uh, and and sometimes you kind of like you're in a men's room and you and you hear and the and somebody's like Bleh! like at the urinal and you're, you 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 kind of like have this reaction like what the f- Fucking guys just farting in the bathroom. Yeah, but it's <laughs> how dare you? Oh, are you are you my are you my jokes uh, agent? <laughs> He's here, everybody. My joke has representation. <laughs> Is this a package deal in this joke or the fuck did you think I was pointing out? You fuck. <laughs> um. So, anyways. I go to the I go to the men's room or the or the people's room on the plane. There's no men's room. Planes are the future. Um, and I'm peeing, and then I just I just let out this, you know. It's loud. It's it was it was loud. It's a, kind of a contra bassoon. Because I'd been sitting on it, and I've been very I've been very gassy, but I've been sitting on this right. one. So I built over a uh, horn of Gondor. Well, fl- flugel horn. And, yeah. And, uh, and then I go back and I sit for an hour and 57 minutes, and then uh, we land in Heathrow, and uh, everyone starts doing their little r- restless bustling, like getting ready to get up, and I'm moving around, and I'm like, oh. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Did I sweat in my butt crack that much? Is there you a substance? Know? And then I kind of stood out. up in the, in the seat, and I'm like, that feels like... Wrong. That feels wrong, and also it smells a little bit like <laughs> like a butt release. Well, well, because since because smell is like this crazy it, sense it, memory. It, it, the it, thing how, I how, always how? when I smell like diaper smell, I always remember my sister's hospital because it was like I was like when I was a kid. That was the first time I'd ever been around like adult poo poos. Um, was this institution where my sister was uh, 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 being housed. And uh, I, I've, I've told the story before about the, the Moo Moo guy. Um, How much time had elapsed since you think you like released the poo-poos and, and, then, you, and then you noticed Well, it was poo-poo. when I... Two thought, hours. I, 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 said, I said two hours. And I two hours. That. And so I guess I was just sitting on it. Like, like, like a, and so and then, I, and then I'm, so I'm walking in the airport. I'm like, I got to wipe my ass, honey. Like I, and she's like, why did you shit your pants? I'm like, no. I, <laughs> That's crazy. Obviously not. That would be insane. If I, <laughs> if I did that, then I would have reacted to that. It, 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 I just have to wipe my sweaty, fat ass, you know? I'm traveling, it's an airport, I guess this is something that happens, I guess I just have to wipe my sweaty ass. Right. And then we get to the, the airport lounge, and, uh, and it's all packed and stuff, and there's a, there's a guy sitting there, like, looking at his phone. It's one of these, like, you know, the bathroom is, like, it's, like, all these, like, 
you know, f- like fancier than like America kind of tends to go for the just metal stalls. But Europe, you're, in Europe, they have they you're more likely to get these like closets, yeah. uh, teak, maybe some uh, some exotic hardwoods. Uh, and it's a, so it's, a, it's just a room like lined with all these kind of like little rooms that are kind of impenetrable, and you, it's, it's sort of hard to see vacancy or occupied. I guess there's a little red thing, but it's not it's not like it's not really like be, you know beamed out to your eyeball. You kind of have to crouch and look. And there's a guy standing there, thumbing on his phone. It looks like he's probably what the hell is he doing? He's got to be waiting for one of these bathrooms. It means they're all occupied, right? And so I get behind him and I'm waiting and waiting. I'm looking around and there's there's a bathroom with its door kind of like not all the way closed. And I wait and I wait and I'm like looking at it and I'm hoping he sees my eye contact and then he realizes maybe he missed a bathroom opening. And then I finally go, is that one open over there? And, and he, he's kind of like blithely looks at the photos. He's like, go for it. <laughs> governor. He didn't say governor, but like he, he just like, he, he, was, he, he was just like, check it out or something like that. It was like, it was like, like, like go nuts or something like blithe, kind go, of like, the, like the, have the, a blast. The, the, the old school British phrase, go nuts. <laughs> so then I went over there, I opened it up. And it's a handicap uh, version of all these things. So I'm, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. And I look back at him, and he, I don't know if he's like, you know, is it like Forrest Whitaker in the Dream and Crying Game where he's like laughing? I was like, ha, ha, it's a handicap stall. I told, you to, I told you to check it out, and now you're... I never saw Grinding. Cr- crying Game. Oh, Anyways, it doesn't matter. It, does, seen, it doesn't matter. Don't get distracted. Don't I've get distracted. I've seen that, so now I get it. Okay, so, <laughs> so I just like I got the door open. Right. It's a bathroom. There's no, there's nobody. There's no special needs people in sight. I'm kind of like I don't know what the etiquette is. I don't know if that guy no was cop, like no stop. <laughs> no Forrest Whitaker. Uh, you're free to go Whitaker. And I. And I have a sweaty ass, so I'm like, all right, well, I need this. Oh, so, so uh, up till now, you don't know that, like, what's what is actually. He's gone in down. denial. Right. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so I go in, and I. We're two uh, hours, fifteen minutes into you having yeah. shit yourself. I unbutton my pants, I pull them down, I grab the toilet paper, I, I I wipe at the sweaty butt, and I pull it away, and it's like, holy fudge, like like. Like just covered, like as if I just took a shit, which I guess I did. Um, Not to be disgusting, (laughs) but opaque, not opaque, chunk. Just gross. Just like imagine uh, taking a shit and then fucking sitting in it. Like a turd? No, it's not like an intact turd. A turd wouldn't like, it's not like a So it isn't anything then. Go continue with your... (laughs) Wait, Jeff, what did you write down? Holy fudge. <laughs> I, I knew it. <laughs> it's important that someone documents this shit. So now that I'm so seeing it, it, I'm like, okay, well, that wasn't sweat. Okay. And then I'm like, well, perfect. hopefully it was just one of those things where like, I was like, a, you know, that wet of a, that productive of a fart. And like, and it's just like, I had like, like my big bare like ass cheeks just kind of contained this grand canyon of poop and like I wiped it away and I look in the underwear I'm like whoa oh no oh Hershey's Rorschach like fucking like it's like the watchman in there yeah how do you spell Rorschach uh (laughs) watchman in your pants (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so then I take off my <laughs> shoes, my take pants. off my pants. Take off your shoes? Yeah. Oh, how how else do you pants. take off your pants? You got to take off your shoes. I, ta- I take off my uh, underwear, gingerly step out of them like yeah. tires in the in a in a in a in a, in a in a in a army training course, and uh, <laughs> fold up the f- a really uh, uh, unreturnable pair of meundies and. Uh, oh no. <laughs> And no, drop them which, 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 by the way, are made of the softest micro model. And uh, they have a hundred percent guarantee, so you can send them right back if oh, you're not uh, satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can you can take that up with the with the good people of 
British Airways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pro- promo code thing. Harmontown. Yeah. yeah, keep keep going. No, 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 just get, keep going. I, Whatever I wanna... poor physically challenged person that actually had a right to use that particular bathroom is now going to go in there and go like, oh, who fucking shit in the garbage can? In the can? toilet area. Uh, <laughs> and the ironic answer is, oh, me, fucking Mr. Physical Privilege, Mr. Bounding Around on Two Great Legs. I had to fucking like <laughs> ruin their f- haven. So, and I put I had to put on my pants Wait, with sorry, no hey, underwear. Hey, 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 can, can I walk it back for a second? You took your shoes off. Yeah. You took your took your trousers off. Yeah. Took your took your meandies off. Uh-huh. Disposed of them, I assume. Put them in the garbage. More or less. Then oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there a garbage can in the stall with you? It's 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 I mean it's a handicap uh uh uh, uh Yes or no? Stall in a country that doesn't really, the, the, in an airport lounge, it's like more into water closets than stalls. So we're talking right. about like kind of a small room. Like okay, so there was a trash can. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. you, you pitched your uh, soiled meandies into the bin and then bearer, the, you cleaned yourself up. Hopefully. Then put your. <laughs> p- w- 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 did, did meandies save your trousers from the. Uh, from yeah. The, from the answer, climax, an, yeah. yeah. Of course they did. Yeah. Answer, but I will say, definitely. Spencer, why do you think they did? That's because of micromodal fabric. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I so, will say, in all fairness, I was wearing brown pants. Yeah. So. Oh, that's. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> but also. <laughs> Uh, margin of error in my data. <laughs> I think I got it way clean, but All right. so if now, I didn't... So now, I don't know if that's so now the right you, word. You're, you're, not, you're, you're going commando. I go commando and, and, back to my duffel bag. I look at Dino and Cody, and I go... Dino's in the bathroom with you? No. D- oh, this I, is in I go the back lounge. to the okay. lounge. Gotcha. Uh, and I, I, get my, I get a new pair of MeUndies out of my duffel bag. Right. Um, and as I look at them and go... <laughs> you know, and Trump's on TV uh, bragging about how he killed the head of ISIS. He and, killed ISIS single-handedly. And I'm like, there. You know, it's a, it's a day of gives and takes, <laughs> day of triumphs and and, right. and defeats. Uh, I, I am having a bad day. The president is having a good day. That's usually how it works. Uh, <laughs> So I, 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 I salute the television and, uh, hey, hey, did you guys know that uh, when you're in Europe, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's crazy because, like, uh, uh, um, the, 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 their news coverage makes him look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's probably the only time in our nation's recent like post television history when there actually is no fucking disparity because it's like just as mean to be objective with that guy. Like, like he's just like, but you know, fucking uh, Al Jazeera says the same shit about him as CNN because it's just like the president just said he was nine feet tall and his dick is a whistle, like. <laughs> How, what what, how, what what negative spin are you gonna put on that? <laughs> like you, you either you either pretend that's cool or 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 you just tell people what happened again. Um, so, anyways, yeah, uh, I went back in and I uh, used a different stall, thereby realizing how lucky I was because yeah, the other stalls they don't have garbage bins, and uh, I don't know what I would have done. I would have walked out with a fucking yeah. wad of shit in yeah. a. Yeah. In the softest I was fabric worried. known to man. I was worried for you. I don't know. What, I guess I've I had to throw out underwear before in a public place. Yeah. So, <laughs> Wait, so, so, so you go back in, you change your... Uh, Got a little you, quiet you, there. You, yeah. you, you do a me on these change. <laughs> you put the brown trousers back on. Yep. No harm, no foul. Yep. All's well that no ends foul. well. <laughs> Some. Soiler alert. Hmm. Oh boy! Yeah, good one. Yeah, oh, boy. bring out the the bring out the inflatable person. <laughs> oh boy! Should she come out every time you nail one? Like... <laughs> I'll tell you what. I could, I could use some vodka right now. Oh, oh shit! We better bring out Steve Levy <laughs> at some point. Oh, so before the show happened, Steve Levy came out a few times and was treated to just a thunderous applause and audience reaction. Was that because of last week when we talked about it, or was that just organic? Okay, I'm hearing some yeses. I thought so. 
What yeah. what happened? Good what to happened? hammer out. Well, what? we just kind of we we kind of joked about how Levy came out before the show. The the the, the, we ca- the show was tremendously delayed last time more than usual, and uh, like <laughs> as a. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Oh! Because that joke was so good earlier. And it's a tender moment for us all to enjoy. Uh, yeah, there's no, by the way, there's no guest tonight, so this is it. We got there's Rob. a person in there! That's, that, that is correct. We should do something about it. How many more? <laughs> I'm bad at math. How many more Dan, Harmontowns here's are there? Five. five. Five more? So this, this is the... Five more after this? or this? Five more after this. So, five more after this. So the, this, this one, one and, five, and more. five more. So right. six. Six. <laughs> five. One and five more. Five point seven two. Right. About. Yeah. What did Dan hear? Uh, no, I just heard this like high pitched tone. That's like, that fan. That w- that's that fan. What inflates the wacky inflating inflatable oh, okay. arm flailing tube man? But there's a lady in there. Woman. <laughs> what? Woman, not man. I said it bad. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying I should say woman instead of lady. No, you should though. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Don't. We'll talk after the show. <laughs> uh. There was a. There was. But a, we won't, though. <laughs> no, I mean, we won't. <laughs> I'm busy. What did Dan hear? There was a. There, there was a, a, a lady animator, a legendary a Norwegian lady animator, getting a, a, a lifetime achievement uh, award in the at the festival. Um, uh, and uh, the host was going over her uh, credentials and. Uh, I swear he said, I, I, Cody and I both heard the same thing. He said, uh, and of course, um, if you are familiar with uh, animation at all, then you know the movie Poop Van 2. <laughs> Poop Van 2? She worked on that. And, and then he just kept going, and Cody and I were like, Poop Van and then afterwards, we were asking about it, but no one, no one could tell it. No one was like, "Oh no, 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 goop gum do." It's a, it's like ju- our Jumanji. Like there was nothing. No one, no one remembered hearing it. No one could explain. It was just. I swear, he said poop van too. Now, and the only, the only differing opinion about that was Dino, who heard poop man too. <laughs> Cody and I both heard poop van too, and it's like the idea that they. I mean, that sounds like a great animated film. The s- sequel of one, at least. <laughs> and then there was, and then there was more. What do you uh, think? What, what do you think? Poop Man Two. Uh, d- d- does it answer the questions of Poop Man? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't Poop Man Two. I don't. I wouldn't even care about. It, but Poop Van Two. I, I, I guess it's like a great movie because, like, there probably is a Poop Man in that movie, but he's accompanied by three to five friends and a dog and. <laughs> They're all pretty comfortable, and I don't know. I just picture like kind of a cool like road movie or something. Yeah. Poop Van Two, like poop. There was a movie called Poop Van, and it did, and it and, and and in spite of its obstacles, it, it did so well <laughs> that people were like, "Yes, another." I heard that the Poop Man was so long they cut it into two pieces. Oh, uh, it was like a like a Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So yeah. Uh, they had to use that special fork that we all keep in the bathroom to break it up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, that special fork we all keep in the bathroom. Another thing that the guy said, which he said she also did. He goes right on his phone after saying that. I'm looking up, I'm looking up the body of You're works of this lady. You're looking up your, your bathroom? Is it maybe Port Van too? Pork Van? Port Van. Port van? Yeah, I'm looking up her filmography. Is it oh, well, port, that, oh port, that would have been. I mean, it, it's probably it's very likely that that's what what he said. <laughs> it's it's less likely that she worked on both that and poop van too. <laughs> There's also uh, two van Toby. Two van Toby. What two, did you two what, van? What did you think that was, Dan? Uh, <laughs> but another thing that she worked on apparently that the guy that they were going to show that that weekend, the guy said. Uh, uh, something like he goes, uh, and she just did work on 
the only educational video about sexual assault of kindergartners <laughs> for kindergartners. <laughs> and it was just the way that he kept like, like he kept, he kept it, was, it was like he was like, I don't know, it just sounded like yeah, such he, an inappropriate his, like his, advertisement. Like, like if you thought sexual assault <laughs> the kindergartners was a yeah. fucking thing. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. you see Sunday. it from the point of view of the kindergartner. <laughs> Uh, it seemed like the audience every time he was before he let in would be like the first animated. Wait a second. <laughs> for I, yeah. kindergarten, I, I, I don't think it's a good financial model to really like pitch your film for kindergartners because they don't have a, a lot of discretionary money. Well, I don't think I, you, I think I don't th I think this was probably a job that she did for uh, the government because okay. it was educational. Right. I think that the Damn. budget was probably fixed. Um. <laughs> How was your How was your time overall in the in Scandinavia? It was a lot of fun. Those are those are those are good people. I I uh, I like uh, you know they they they're self described as a kind of like compartmentalized people that they're sort of uh, you know it's a it's a it's a colder climate um, and whereas you might think oh then that, that that makes them all warm and fuzzy uh, they're they're a little more you know more than more than a few of them kind of self described the Norwegian people as being kind of a uh, uh, not cold, but like, uh, uh, yeah, I, was, I would say compartmentalized. They didn't use that word, but listening to them describe it, that's sort of what they're describing. Like, which kind of, you know, it's like they, 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 and they like to get drunk, and like they sort of view getting drunk as like its own thing, and what happened there stays there. And uh, one of one of them described the the the, the culture as like sort of like and this is one person like they might be their own point of view. I'm sure this isn't like a traditional thing, but like you know like in in Norway you might get drunk and like have a great time with somebody, even sleep with them or something, and then you see them the next day at a grocery store and you kind of don't just don't pretend you you, you act like you never met them. Oh um, shit! That could be that own person's uh, <laughs> take on life, but. Uh, <laughs> But 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 the general picture all kind of averaged out was this sort of like a, this kind of a Nordic like uh, I don't know, yeah compartmentalized which I which I do respect I like I I, I I I as long as it's not dishonest and nobody gets hurt I like I like the idea of distance professional distance and things they're not big huggers they said and things like that but they are th there's a difference between that and not being nice they're t really wonderfully nice and funny. Uh, people and they all kind of look like Spencer or Dave Hell Klein, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and 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 they're they're just very like uh, it, it's hard to escape the Viking thing because they're so jolly and 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 you know broad shouldered and kind of like um, uh, you know hyperbolic and and fun and it was so it was great drinking like Vikings with them. yeah when I think when I think fun <laughs> fun fun Vikings. when I think fun I think Vikings <laughs> yeah. They got those Before the hats. circus came to town, I, 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 the Vikings did. I, 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 was, I was only in like I, I was in Stavanger, Norway once, and uh, there, there was a bar. People got in fights. Like a, like a middle-aged guy tackled a slightly older guy, and hip tackled him like a linebacker. And then they got up and then danced together and had a drink. And it was like like no harm, no foul, no blood, no ambulance. Every, every, everything was groovy. No antelopes. Yeah. What's a hip tackle? What's a who? What's a hip tackle? Like when you tackle somebody by the hip, their hip. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, if you tackle somebody with your own hip, I think that's just called doing the booty bump. Yeah, that's that's what I think when I okay. hear hip All tackle. Right. There were there were more than there was a handful of people who traveled like great distances by train and car from all over Europe to come and to see uh, uh, me in particular because uh, of Harmontown ending. It was so surprising to to, to encounter Whoa. people from from uh, from Norway that were like such big Harmontown fans. You know well, why was, wasn't I invited? Uh, because we, I guess we, we didn't know that I was going there for uh, uh, to talk to them. <laughs> they well, what, what, how, uh, how do they say Rick and Marty in uh, in Norwegian? Uh, Rick and <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> awesome. uh, I did try to write a song in Norwegian, thinking if I, I could they, maybe if I chipped away at it for over a couple of days, like oh man, writing writing a song in a foreign language is is like. 
like that you don't actually know. Yeah. I mean, because in in, 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 <laughs> in English, you're a brilliant songwriter. Yeah, if getting an Emmy for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is some kind of metric. All right. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I never bring it up, but you kind of did. Uh, what was uh, what was your like eyes into the Norwegian language that you thought you could do it? Like, well, it just it was more the eyes in. Well, well, I, I didn't. I, I stopped short of trying to rhyme because I started. It was such a challenge to just because you're th- you, you're thinking in a melody and then you're thinking of syllables. So then you th- you think in English syllables and then you, so you go like, oh, I want I you know the other day I had a sausage and you're like that's the right amount of syllables. Now you got now you're gonna put that in Google Translate. You're gonna find out how to say. Uh, the other day, I had a sausage in Norwegian. It's going to be a totally different amount of syllables. So now, are you going to adjust the melody? Are you going to like rephrase? Are you going to search around for words? It's like, and then t- 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 on top of that, now you got to look at the word that it's ending with, I guess, which is going to be like margabar, and you're going to be like, oh, I know what rhymes with that. No, you don't. You don't know. You don't know a single <laughs> word that rhymes because you don't know the language. Uh, so I was kind of like, wow, that was an interesting. I I, I kind of thought in the day of Google Translate and and. You know, just I I, I, I underestimated the. Uh, did you, did you get did, did you get one done? No, no, I just got I got like the first line of something done, and I kind of tried it out. At did my you panel. try finding like a, a Norwegian rhyme dictionary? Like? I don't know if there. I mean, what would it be called? I don't know the word for rhyme. <laughs> well, if you wrote t- typed in Norwegian rhyme dictionary, I, or... you know what? <laughs> this guy. I didn't try that. <laughs> yeah. You, f- you, you, you figured you, out how did, I could have done you, it. Did you pick up? I, I think it's always a good thing when I you don't travel. Know if you're to being a... serious or not? Well, I just sort of like, what are you, my mom? Like, like, what is your problem? You've been shitty to me since I sat down here. <laughs> I haven't seen you in weeks. I come in. Hey, how you doing? You look at the floor. You don't say anything, and you're just shitting on everything I do. And I came out here because there's only f- six. Episodes left. <laughs> Five and a half. I didn't have to. I could have stayed home with Kate and Lolly, and now you're you're shitting on everything I say. What what did I ever do, man? You know, you know goddamn well. No, I don't. That's that, why I'm asking. That you come here whenever you want, and it's always when your dog and your wife kick you out. No, it's not true. <laughs> There's don't. nobody waiting for you that you could have been with. No, that's it was not this true. or being How under would a you bridge. Know? How would you know? What is your because I've known you problem. for 20 years. More than that. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like... So what? What? what 30 what? years. So I know what it's like to be your dog and Kate. <laughs> I do. I can only imagine. I know that every once in a while, they're going to be like, why don't you go do the Harmony no, Talk show? No, don't even... <laughs> You don't even put words in, Kate. And you, probably, and you have to pull, like, straws out of your lips and, like, fucking cotton swabs off your eyebrows that you glued with toothpaste because you, you thought it would be funny in the middle of Kate probably, like, trying to confide with you about something that was troubling her at work, and you're like, she said a word that rhymed with claws, your, your Santa Claus, and you're like, oh, 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 oh. like, and, and she's this like... This is not based on any true events <laughs> at all. This is completely made up. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I've been doing toothpaste Santa Claus for <laughs> 20 <laughs> plus years. <laughs> I, need, I need a new bit. D- does toothpaste work for, uh, on cotton, cotton balls? For glue, yeah. <laughs> So if you're strapped. So that wasn't a riff that you, Dan actually knows that you do that. I've oh, done yeah. it a couple times. <laughs> I did it last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> woke Kate up <laughs> Christmas morning <laughs> with a red, red what, what, what? shirt and white tape down my <laughs> cotton all over my face. And two oven mitts. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, Mary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this minty, fresh <laughs> elf doing in here? <sighs> I thought that gave you joy. I didn't realize what was the it first time pissed you uh, off. Uh, let's, let's go down memory lane. 
Do you guys remember the very first time you met and what the interaction was? You and you and Shrab? Um I, I remember so, so, someone says I know it? Someone knows. You, you do? Okay. <laughs> what do you fair. fucking know? Right, like the ver- <laughs> I, I, I remember the it was, very, uh, I remember the very first time I saw you two. I uh, noticed Trab after a, uh, at a the comedy mall. sports workshop and he was wearing his <laughs> Fucking leather baseball cap and uh, uh, and his uh, gray sweatshirt and uh, <laughs> and uh, and we, we we it was we were having uh, vice beers uh, with Bo Johnson after the workshop and uh, and then Schraub was like talking about. Uh, uh, he's like eating Fritos and drinking beer, and he said he said something like, "You know, they put riboflavin in these chips." <laughs> you guys hear this? They put riboflavin. It's a meat tenderizer, <laughs> and it makes you thirsty for some chemical in Coke. So if you eat Fritos. You get tenderized, and then you want Coke, and then the Coke makes you want Fritos. <laughs> this, is the f- this is the first interaction? That's the first time. I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, were you both on Milwaukee Comedy Sports at this time? No, we were, we were students. We Dan were, was we in were, high school. We were aspiring. Uh, we were aspirants. Right. To that throne. And, and you were not in high school? Were you, were you already on the squad, Rob? No, no. I was in, I was in workshops. Okay. But I, I was in my last year of college. But you just, had you both just moved to Milwaukee? Or were you still in Red Deer or Brown Deer? I was, or? I was, I, that was like my fourth year in Milwaukee. I was like probably li- li- like in between living with my parents in Brown Deer and like living with uh, McKenna in, uh, on the east side of Milwaukee. Right. And, and did you guys? Or actually, well, that's not true because I wouldn't be living with McKenna until I. So I was probably just pretty much living with my parents and like crashing on people's couches in Milwaukee. Did you and Rob uh, connect that first day, or did it take a while? I think it took a while. No. I think oh, we're, I think no, we're still. On, was, I think was, we're still trying to connect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think we connected. Yeah, we connected. We did. We did all right. Who cares? Yeah. There's a question for the ages. <laughs> Who cares? Rob does. I do. You do too. He he pretends like he doesn't. That's his shield. How important is your friendship to Rob Schraub? I mean, that, that's, yeah, that, that's oh god, it's worth like a billion dollars. See, Whoa. it's worth its weight in gold. Wait, Just, so you put it into financial terms? Well, it's, <laughs> how? Well, when you see Rob, you see a, just a giant bag of cash. No, no, you didn't. I, I said what's worth to him. Oh, yeah, no. To, to, to you, like, like, like emotionally. Like. Oh, it's worth a, a thousand hugs. <laughs> Not a billion dollars, just a thousand. Hugs. I don't, I don't measure. I don't How see much things is, through that lens. What, what, what is the hug to to dollar uh, conversion? Nine. <laughs> That's not bad. You made Rob leave the stage. Oh, here's. Does this look right? Does this look cool? It looks like he's floating a head, a floating head. <laughs> He's like a green screen guy. Why that expression? What's the expression? He's shocked that his head is, is that, floating. Is it, so you're shocked to be a floating head. <laughs> Jeff's helping. Right. Quote, unquote. But, what, handing, him, handing him something to hold with his hands that aren't supposed to be there. Why did Why that help the illusion? <laughs> Put a sweater on him. Yeah. We could crop those out, though. I, mean, I don't have anything to talk about anyway, so... That's the thing. <laughs> Just doing something behind the curtain. That's why you had to be behind the curtain. Mm. They shuffle back to their seats. Someone really enjoyed that. Was this big news here too? The, uh, the like thirty-eight bodies found on uh, w- 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 no, it wasn't in that truck. I heard that. I read the headline, but it was not big news. It was. It was all over the. I mean, it was just all over the TVs everywhere we went because we were. Yeah. But I I usually don't see TVs unless I'm in airports. So, but it was like uh, 
They kept we kept debating what it was. It was like, like Cody's like, "What's a lorry?" I'm like, "It's a bus." <laughs> but they kept showing. I was like, "Maybe it's a truck it's too." A truck, yeah. But it was like 38 bodies found on a found on a lorry. <laughs> this is a great time for Rob to be making light of things. <laughs> Just a truck full of dead people. <laughs> Obviously, a human trafficking thing, which I, I just say. <laughs> of course, human trafficking being like a, one of, a really horrible, one of the worst atrocities in modern times. Many lives claim, like, say, uh, every hour two women are. It's probably. <laughs> Why are you applauding this? Usually probably, dealing with some of the most vulnerable segments of our population. So. Yeah, there's probably more slaves living today, active slaves, than there other have been at any point in history. Oh, so now it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> now that there's not a candle, no one cares. Uh, so here, here's, here's something yeah, I think you'll find interesting. Okay, Whoa. lay it on me. Uh, we're driving from the uh, Oslo airport to Fredrikstad, and uh, our driver, uh, uh, Odvar, um, uh, we, we said to him, uh, you know, because it's Halloween at t- time, and we're like, do you guys celebrate Halloween in Norway? And he said, well, uh, we actually uh, just started uh, recently, uh, about uh, two years ago. <laughs> how, does, how does that happen? <laughs> What kind, of, what kind of fucking like? Uh, uh, is there who any, was that? Like the uh, big Halloween just moved in. Are there are there any foreign holidays that we could start doing? Yeah, I know. Like I didn't know. You I mean, guys they're, ever they're, heard of Sweetest Day? Yeah. So one that the guy who knows how Dan Schraub knows about it. <laughs> yeah. um, Sweetest Day. Sweetest Day. Sweetest Day is a holiday right. that's celebrated in the Midwest. I remember hearing about it. It's just made up. It's one of these made up holidays. I mean, it turns They're out. They're all made no, up. No, no. Most of the holidays are natural laws <laughs> passed down by the gods. Um, <laughs> no, but it was just, it's called Sweetest Day to sell candy. It was, it was right. conceived of by confectioners. The, the first day is the sweetest. Whoa. Thank you. That's, Yeah. <laughs> I wrote. I wrote down this note. I don't it was care really if you sad. don't laugh. That was funny for me. Was, we I got wrote, some for everyone. I wrote down. Why am I always losing everything? Because I thought I left my. Because uh, I did leave. I left my boarding pass from the on the connecting flight on the plane. No oh, big wow. deal. I was able to just get another one. It's just a boarding pass. Like you're in the airport anyway. But like, I was like, I was like, God damn. It's like obviously something that I wouldn't choose to leave. And I'm always doing that. I'm always like leaving shit. You know, no matter how important it is. And then on the next flight, on the one to Oslo, I was convinced I, I couldn't find my uh, AirPods earbuds. What the AirPods. fuck are they called? AirPods. AirPods. Jesus Christ, Apple. Get your shit together. <laughs> They're coming out with the AirPod Pro. Oh, cool. I hope I can use those with my iPad 7th generation non-pro with second uh, type of <laughs> Apple Pencil mini Air. Fucking idiot. <laughs> what the fuck? Steve Jobs' body isn't even cold. I they know, turned him to fucking Microsoft. Yeah. Fucking idiots. <laughs> that Tim Apple's fucking everything up. You'd think... Tim Apple. You'd think with a name like that, he'd like be ready for the job. <laughs> uh, but I wrote this down. Yeah. This very lugubrious... Why am I always losing everything? And when I look at it, I remember how I felt. <sighs> Keep going, keep going. Do you want to talk about slavery real quick? <laughs> so, sex trafficking. You know, I don't even like using the word pimp anymore because the proper term is sex trafficker. Is that right? Yeah. Um, That's what pimp stands for. No, but it's, it's like, a, it's like a, a sanitized version of what's actually happening. But so I wrote down why am I always losing everything because I was just I was and I was because I, the reason I wrote it down is because I was really genuinely in the throes of this sort of like tailspin just because I lost this stupid Apple product like and then I was like it wasn't like that was valuable to me it was like this idea of like it's the ego it, hit it, it was it was the fact that I could lose my boarding pass and then have that be such a center of attention that like I'm so absent minded I could leave my boarding pass on a plane and then got on another plane and then left something 
even more valuable in spite of having every incentive. And I, it was just, it sent me into such a depression because I was like, what is my fucking problem? Well, you also had a load of shit in your pants. <laughs> no, I didn't. This was the trip out there. That, that, that might have that might have been a distracting no, factor. No, this was the yeah. trip out there. But uh, then I then I then I <laughs> then I found them in some pocket, and it was like, oh, okay, I didn't lose my AirPods. Did but... you look in the pocket? <sighs> Shut up, just for a second. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, it was just I, I don't know. There was just something seemed profound about that because my mood was instantly lightened. I was like so depressed and so self-loathing. I was like, so you're such yeah. a piece of shit. There's something so wrong with you. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, ah, huh. I'm fine. Ah. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, I don't even know what to call that. Do you like, have too I, many pockets? Maybe you have too many pockets. That's not the that's, issue. <laughs> Obviously, this is, a, this is a, you know, there's something more we could be achieving. Let's here. audit your pockets, though. What? Let's audit his pockets, see how many we're working with. Yeah. Um, the closest thing to me that you're talking about is like when I break my phone, when I drop my phone and shatter the screen, I feel so existentially destroyed. It's like, what are you? You can't have who nice the things. Fuck, who the fuck do you think you are? You know you, what? I, well, you, I think when, when I dropped my phone and br- broke the, the screen, I think, oh shit, I'm one of those people now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, before I, I, every time I saw somebody with a broken screen, I'd be like, <laughs> "Come on, take care of your shit." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then crack. <laughs> you got <laughs> me again, God. <laughs> Hubris was, of man. I was really appreciating all the iPhone 11 launch day memes. People were uh, exchanging a lot of animated gifs of like. Uh, Apple uh, about to press that button that makes your iPhone 10 turn to shit or whatever, and then there's like a, a guy like putting on lipstick in the mirror and going, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It's good when we can all get on the same page after a decade of servitude to a corporation that we're like, you know what? I really do think they just push a button that makes like three generations of iPhone back. Just everything, everything just goes to shit. Like yeah. they, they got to be doing something, right? All right, it's, never mind. I don't the, understand the. It meme. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'd I just, like uh, to. Understand the meme. Well, it's just a, it's just it doesn't matter what the meme is. The meme could be like a f- scene from fucking Office Space or something. Who cares? We gotta be. We gotta no, be. That's, uh, what? What's what's the button? Mm. It breaks all the phones. We gotta be. We gotta be brainstorming in this memoji space. There's a lot of there's a lot of untapped like creative space on these memojis that we haven't figured out. But you know, we could be the first ones to get there. What's a memoji? The memoji is the animoji of your face that's built with your your facial features. It's a combination oh, right, of yeah. a bitmoji and uh and the I, animoji. I, I don't have that uh, that, that new phone. It's a very new space that we're very excited about. Yeah. I, I saw I, I've seen you in like in the group text Spencer doing your cute little Spencer. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's that's that's a whole new breed of content that someone's gonna do like oh I could put my baby up to this thing and she goes poopy diaper and it's an elephant saying it and oh boy. But if we figure out what that is and tap that market, people will be fucking will be enshrined in the halls of internet history. We'll be the the new viners. TikTok will pay deference to us. I don't, you know, I, did, I don't know what the you, fuck you're talking about. <laughs> That's the point. We got to stay current. I don't. Well, first you have to understand. I, I, it was three days ago that someone told me what Baby Shark was, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> oh, and, like, and, and 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 now like like I'm way. Well, you, well, let me catch you up. TikTok is a platform famous for paying deference, right? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> they're so reverent. Those teens. It's the, it's the deferential treatment that you get from TikTok. Is Spencer, why you sign up for it. Uh-huh. You you, uh, you text Jeff a lot. Oh, I'm texting Jeff. I'm texting Dan. I'm texting uh, Steve. I'm texting um, Laura. I'm texting Zach. I'm texting Lolly, your dog. So I bought. I bought this. Uh, Lolly's well, got I, a I, phone. I, 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 <laughs> I wrote one more. She has uh, a emoji. I only got one more note in here, which is uh, I think it was it was because Dina was making me think because I was talking about how scared I am that like I don't know, like I listen to so much true crime and then I like I just feel like uh, you know like the Mark David Chapman like uh, uh, like 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 the the yeah. like like. We're they, they, they're, we're getting crazier and crazier, and then our crazier people are gonna get crazier and all that stuff. But then, 
Dino, always the contrarian, but sometimes that's helpful when you're in a tailspin. It was like, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe the internet's like a, like a release for them. Like they don't have to like track you down and shoot you. They, uh, <laughs> they can fucking go on your Instagram and call you a fucking idiot and, you know, and, like feel like they did something. It's very and I was true. like, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of, that's an uplifting thought. Yeah. <laughs> These are all people that could shoot me. Right. Yeah. I should stop blocking them. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm cutting him off from yeah. interacting. I mean, I should delete my Instagram. Or should I? Or will that get me shot? No, don't do, don't do that. What will you yeah. broadcast your workouts on? When you mute somebody on Twitch? Instagram, when, when you mute somebody, do they know that they've been muted? Can they tell uh, anybody? I well, hope not. Uh, when you mute no? someone on what? Instagram. Uh, an Instagram. I don't, I don't know if there is. A, so, so they, can, they, can they, they, don't, they don't post something and know that you don't give a and fuck And if you anymore. screenshot someone's story, do they know? <laughs> That's an old Snapchat question, right? That, yeah, but I knew the answer to Snapchat. It's a fun question, uh, Spencer. Of those three books to your to your right, what are your what, what is which is your favorite book of those three books? Okay, so for the folks at home, the three books are Bert's Italian English and English Italian Dictionary. All right, now Spencer, Spencer. P- Pick a title that, that, that speaks out to you, the one that you like the most. Well, A Princess of Thule, or okay. Tool, maybe? Okay. okay, Tool. All right, so take that one. Now, put okay. the other two down. Oh, boy. Now, we're, we're going to play a game here. Is this a magic trick? Okay, so can I interject with something kind of fascinating here? Because there were three books, and he picked A Princess of Thule, which means that one of those books, which is way thinner than the other, is a, either an Italian to English or an English to Italian. And one's way thicker. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm just wondering which language is pitching and which is catching here. Like, <laughs> no, the the other book is Gallery Buffet Soup Cookbook. Okay. Oh, but all you, right. You you then picked what? Okay. The Princess of Tool. Yeah. How many Tool. titles do these three books have? Okay, I'm, I'm realizing now one of the, these books is just here's, both. Here's, the here's dictionary is both my, ways. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought, I'm, here's something my friend my friend Jen, J- my friend Jenny Mack from Texas ta- uh, taught me. Oh, I know. Uh, I met her. Oh yeah, yeah, you met. Jenny. I met her oh, there. You, you met her in uh, in uh, Austin. I know something. <laughs> All right, now you have this book. Ask yourself kind of a philosophical question about yourself, like 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 not oh, like oh boy, like, like, like ask yourself something about you, your future, your life, what you want, what you don't want, what you want to know about yourself. Ask yourself that question, but don't tell anybody. Yeah, okay, I you did. Got it? How many pages are in this book, Spencer? Oh boy. 462. Okay, pick a number between 10 and 460, and uh, you, you pick that number first. Me personally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you pick the number. Okay. You got it? No. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Now. It's 69. 69. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's that one. Because that's when people are licking and sucking. Or doing things. Yeah, okay. At the same time, though, that's why it's funny. Yeah. I, <laughs> Ideally, if one person's doing it to the other person, that's serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody this guy's wins. eating my pussy. Okay, so you've chosen. Or I'm sucking this guy's dick. No, Both I think at the same time. Number. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so you've chosen page 69 out of The Princess of No, I, I picked a different number. Okay, what is it? 130. 130. Now, uh, let's say how many lines of, of like of print are in each Dialogue. page? Like, let, let's, let's pick it up between one and thirty. K. I said K, <laughs> which is politically <laughs> correct. A lot of I thought you said gay. I think a lot of people might have. <laughs> like you just blurted it out after five years of being woke. <laughs> it just erupted. Like, Women shouldn't vote. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, maybe I said that. Okay. <laughs> but that wasn't the intent. Well, what? A, B, C, D, E, F, J, K. Uh, so eight? No, no, no. The number I picked was 15. 15. Okay. Now go to page 130, you said? Yep. And, and, and you have We're the, almost. You have the question in your mind, right? That you asked yourself. Yes. Now go to that page. That line oh, on that no. page is going to be the answer to that question. I don't know if it's the one I want, though. Well, it's, it's not up to you anymore, baby. It's up to yeah, I mean, William, t- you lady. Okay, so page 130, line what? 15 is L- what I said. Line 15. Okay. Re- read, read the line out, and Phil. then Phil. You- Phil. Time. 
while I count the numbers. Oh, 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 Phil, okay. <laughs> sorry, uh, I could have done a lot better uh, job communicating. Start again. Start again. Start again. No, no, sorry. I'm so sorry. Everybody, <laughs> this is the house pants that counts the lines. <laughs> This is a song for that well, segment. 13, Dead. 14, 15. Shush. No, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, what, what was the line? Is it a sentence or is it just, just a line of the page? Because, you know, a sentence can go multiple lines. Yeah, but read like a, like a, like, like a, you know, a part of that sentence or whatever like, like jumps out of you. Okay. <laughs> and in the evening, too, when they had climbed to the top of the hills on the south of Stornoway Harbor, did not the little town look sufficiently picturesque with its white houses, its shipping, its castle and plantation lying in shadow under the green of the eastern sky? Then away to the west, what a p- strange picture presented itself. Thick bands of gray cloud lay across the sky. So you kind of get the idea. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but now... What, what, what was the now, question? Now, what, what, what was your question? Uh, I don't want to say. <laughs> but let, Should I move to Portland? <laughs> so by, yeah, it definitely wasn't a clear answer. <laughs> Maybe it means there's Dan, some... Dan, pick a book. Pick a book, Dan. Oh, yeah, well, now... I got six for you. Now that it's a tried and true parlor game, I mean... Do you want this one, or...? Why not do several rounds? What book? There are six books. There are six books. on top. Seven? Is that the Italian... No, these ones we didn't even name off. Okay. What All is right. that book called, Dan? Uh, well, this is... What does The it spine say? might be fucked up. This looks like a bunch of French or Latin, or... What is okay, it? It, then, says, you, it says Lamort... Find, find the book that, that appeals to you. By Sir Thomas Mallory. Hell yeah. I know that guy. Okay. Mallory never lets you die. All right, well, so what, what's, the, what's the first instruction? Uh, you uh, hey, ask yourself, ask oh, ask yourself, uh, yourself a philosophical question that okay. you want to have the answer to. Okay. But don't, uh, but don't, but don't re- reveal it to us yet. Right. Well, let me think about this for a yeah, second. Yeah, pick a goodie. It's kind of oh. like Karnak. Can someone fill time? While boo to do, do, do to do, boo <laughs> do. I'm the scat man. Skibby dabby dip doop do dope dip. You know, I uh, I saw Dolomite is my name. This oh, weekend. it's really okay. fucking good. It's great. Same people who wrote Ed Wood, uh, wrote the Dolomite biopic. Do, do you think they of, not did a biopic, better? but kind of like his up and coming? What did they do? Was that better than Ed well, Wood? Well, I, I think Ed Wood is like a perfect movie. Um, this one's. Quite good though. I thought Eddie Murphy did a great job, but Wesley Snipes was the fucking shit. Okay, I got I got my best part of the movie. Question. Okay, okay, good job, Rob. Filling time. Uh, Dan has his philosophical question, and the book is titled what? Dan. Uh, let me see more? if it's on the inside cover because it's very hard to read. Uh, fuck. Hold on. Would... Every man's library, edited by Ernest Rise. No, no. That Romance. might be the collection. Okay. Le Mort d'Arthur, The Death of Arthur, I assume Le that Mort is? Le Mort d'Arthur. Yeah. Uh, Arthur's with, Death. With an introduction by Professor Rise in two volumes, volume the, one. This sounds good. Okay. <laughs> so Books now, really so knew what they were crazy. doing back Dan, then. Uh, yeah. p- pick Come a on, pa- just call it Skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> so pick a page in between, like any, like any page number. I don't know how long that book is. Okay, well, uh, wait, sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'm Pick sorry. a number, a page, a page number that falls within the beginning and the end of that book. So just, do you want, should I, should I flip to the page and just stick a finger in it? Or, or, or just you, think, no, no, think of a number. Okay, think of, let me look at how many pages. Like you, so so yeah. it looks like 401, so I pick a number between 10, one, so okay, it's not 10 in the, 10 in the, in the uh, uh, intro or whatever. Okay, so I'll go with, uh, okay, I got it. You got it. What, what, what number? 69. 69. It's funny. It's now, fucking funny. Now pick a number between it's funny. Now pick a number be- between 1 and let's say 24 because I think that's how many like let's ish you know the number of lines it's on like the page. Like a sonnet. Okay. Pick a number between 1 and 24. Uh 10. Okay, 10. Hell so yeah. what, what page number? 69. 69. <laughs> line 10. Okay. Now I want you to read us go to that page. Okay. Read us that line. And you have the question in, uh, still in your head, correct? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. This is going to blow everybody's mind. Spencer's, Spencer's was not so good. I think if we went with 69, it would have been a lot better. Let's go back to that after that. Okay. Wait, but did you ever tell us what your question was? No, I didn't. I was embarrassed. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, in, in your defense, I, well, I, I knew from watching you that I needed to pick. I have philosophical questions that I don't want to share. Right. 
And so I picked one that was worth sharing. Well, I'm glad to be, you know, take that bullet for you. (laughs) That's cool. Okay. Uh, All right. 69, uh, line 10. Line 10. Count down. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine ten. Skip it out. Read that line through, like all all the way through. <laughs> okay. Well, it's kind of it's in the middle of a. Yeah, that's what I had. Then, then 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 use use the whole sentence then. Okay. So, uh, uh, so Balan prayed the lady of her gentleness uh, for his true service that she would bury them both in that same place where the battle was done. I think that was my answer. <laughs> So now can you say the question? My question was, should I give uh, death weight in my life? Whoa, now read the question and again. And then you got no, buried? No, read, read, read the line again. I did get a death-related sentence. Ba- so Balon, this is some proper name, I'm sure. That's a dwarf, I think. <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. Prayed, and not, it's prayed, like, like hands together, like talking to God. So Balan prayed the lady of her gentleness, comma, which means, so he prayed the lady of her gentleness. Like maybe that's a type of standardized prayer, maybe. Uh, he sought it from so, say what? He sought it from, sought it from, a from prayer. her? Sought it from her. Do you, you sound like a, you have an accent that means that you actually are credible in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, are you, we, or are you just a foreign yes. guy that's like, oh, no praying, you could pray on someone. No. We actually have... <laughs> We actually have Mallory right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prayed the lady of her gentleness. Is that is that a way to you? I'm, I'm looking. Oh, he begged her for gentleness. Can, can, maybe can, can, can you can you pray someone of like like you, would that be like beseeching them of their beseeching their yeah gentleness? more or less it's like, like like asking was soliciting it. Uh, so Balin prayed the lady of her gentleness, comma for his true service, comma. <laughs> That she would bury them both in that same place where the battle was done. So, 9-11. 9-11. Thessalonians, 9-11. Oh, fuck, it is 9-11. It actually is 9-11. But I could interpret that to mean like... Way to go, Mallory. You know the phrase, don't shit where you eat? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, so th- th- this is a character that is uh, asking someone to bury him and someone else that's important to him in the same place where they battled. So the answer to my philosophical question would be, well, fuck yeah, give death weight in your life. That's what life is. Like, yeah, like uh, pick out your uh, pick out your uh, be ready your cemetery it. plot. Like yeah. while you're alive, put your estate in order. Write your will. Pick your pick your funeral plot. Like it's not that's not living outside the moment. That's that's at, that's praying for to the goddess to uh, to bury you where the battle was fought. You know, yep. put me right here when I when I when I drop yeah. unexpectedly. So it's, 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 so the answer is yes like give yeah, like give, give it give it. it give it the amount of weight that it deserves which is like hey we were all here fighting it together and uh, bury me on the battlefield don't bury me uh, on the golf course. Mm. <laughs> uh, Does anybody here have a novel on them? Is, is anybody here carrying a book that's like fiction? I got 5. You you, you raising your hand? Yeah. C- c- could we grab it? Absolutely. This is for you Rob. I don't want to play. You gotta. I want to be buried on this stage. I don't want to play, J- Rob. You don't have to be afraid. The president can't read. He's it's it's fine now. It's, Rob, it's, I'll, I'll I'll do all the work for you. This is a book. Wait, what's your name, sir? Zach Butcher. Zach Butcher. Zach Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> that that is a guy that, and I and I agree with him that loves his name. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I always say Jeff when someone asks me my name. You, but you, but if, my, if my full name was Zach Butcher, <laughs> I, would. I would never just say Zach. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah. Because okay. it would be like being named Chad Huge Dick. <laughs> no, no, no. Chad Huge Dick is right. Ch- Ch- Chad Scientist. Because yes. you'd be like, Chad, wait for it. <laughs> okay, Rob. I'll, I'll, do all, I'll do all the heavy lifting, Rob. All you have to do is ask it. yourself a, a, a philosophical question. And I don't I'll, have any. And I'll, it, it, it could be about you or Dan or me or anybody else. I don't, I don't have any. You, yeah, yes, you, you do. Yes, you fucking do. Yeah, okay, you what is do. It? 
It's about I, directing. I don't. I don't really. I don't. Rob, I don't, a- ask. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, make you be do. Forced ask. to play this. Oh, I've been oh, thinking this the minute we. Oh, you love brother. games. No, I don't. This guy I, loves I don't. I, I would He's never ask games right to be now. a part of this, and now I'm. I ha- now I'm I'm it's ruining the show. It's not a game if you can't lose. Like wait, I don't oh, he can lose. I just want to watch. I don't want to be. I, why do I have to do it? We'll just do a question. You don't have to do it, Rob. So if I say you, you pick a color, you won't pick a color because someone's making you do something. It's like a game. I don't, no. Right? You won't pick a color, right? Who, uh, red. Because, you, you pick, because, it's, red. because it's always men on stage, who's a woman here that, that, yeah. wants, yeah. That, that. that, that wants a question answered in her, in her life? Better. There's That's people. so much better. Uh, you, you matter, right, right here. What's your it's name? Really? Alicia. Alicia. Welcome Alicia. Alicia to the Alicia. stage. Alicia, come on up here. <laughs> Hello, Alicia. <laughs> Grab a seat. You. All right, Alicia, are, are you ready to play this game? I'm ready. Okay, here's the deal. Hello. Hi. Uh, Wasn't it nice that you were asked if you wanted to play this game? That was pretty oh, respectful. Boy. No. Pretty respectful. Like, God damn, the fucking on prime spotlight. minister of respect. And did you like, see? This got guy. the robe. Did you see the movie, Alicia? Oh, with Matt Damon. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, it was bad. Good. What was it, Alicia? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Alicia. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> it's Alicia. All right, Alicia. <laughs> See? Um, you, you raised your hand because you want some sort of philosophical question answered in your life. I'm seeking wisdom. That's within that book. Okay. Are we sure? I, that, that microphone might not be on. Let's turn this mic on is with there a, some is applause. There a on? Tr- tr- uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. There you go. It's uh, the applause what did it. Test? You got to eat that mic. Yes. You gotta I'm eat it like wisdom. this. There well, she was eating it plenty, but it wasn't on. <laughs> Not eating. Okay, it. Alicia. Um, this could be like a game show. Do, do, do you have the question uh, ready in your mind, or do you want to think about it for a moment? I'm ready. You got it. I'm ready. All right, keep it to yourself for a second. Uh, this is a book that Zach Butcher gave us, <laughs> and it is by the author Dan Simmons, and it's called "The Rise of Endymion." If I'm saying that correctly. Sure. <laughs> I'm was almost it? certain that Woot was by one Zach Butcher. <laughs> Someone fucking loves Endymion. I don't know if it was. I really don't know. It I, wasn't. W- w- was it Zach Butcher or no? No. Okay. <laughs> th- this, th- this book goes all the way to, let's call it 708 pages and starts Oof. around page five. So f- between five and 708, pick a number. You got it? Got it. And uh, now, uh, t- tell me the number. We'll go 666. Oh, damn. It's almost That's Halloween. funny, too. Yeah. yeah. That's like the 69 of the occult. Correct. Hell yeah. <laughs> Accurate, Dan. That's like if the devil like was, was eating uh, 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 leprechaun's pussy while All the day. leprechaun <laughs> fucking ate his ass. A goblin. Yep. That's so what it means. It's All fun. Right. And, and if they did it on 420. Yep. <laughs> the hijinks. So from the rise of Endymion, am I saying that correctly, Zach? Endymion. Um uh, there's got to be at least 30 lines or, four, or more. Uh, pick a, uh, an, a line on, in the page. 27. Oh, 27, dear heavens. that's going to take... <laughs> Skid up, bop, doody, bop, bop. <laughs> Everybody says that the scat man stutters but doesn't ever stutter when he sings. Watch you do that. I'm going to tell you the stutter and the scat is the same for you. I'm okay. the scat man. Line. I'm the scat man. I, I oh. used to love this scat man. Okay, so Alicia. Yes, Jeff. Is it A L I C I A? E L Y S I A. Like the it. movie. Like Elysium. That is yeah. correct. Oh, Elysium. Yeah. Well, from Endymion. Here, here we go. So Show you, me you, you that have your text. In your mind. I have my question. You chose in line 27, page 666. Correct. From Dan Simmons. Yes. The Rise of Endymions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! And, and then it goes like this, Rob. And then I remembered that the one reason to be free, the one person who would make such freedom worthwhile, was gone. Shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. And the question was? Should we relocate our life from California to another part of the country? 
And you would because it was gone, right? It was gone <laughs> to the other side of the country. It kind of sounds like I'm alone if I do this. Yeah. Right. That's but true. But the, the one reason to be free, the one person who would make such freedom worthwhile. <laughs> My husband. Who, who, oh, shit. Oh, we, no. We, we just killed your husband. <laughs> That's the albino you know. Is your husband the oh, famous wow. albino guest? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hello. But we're not leaving her going home empty handed. Well, you could interpret it as uh... <laughs> Alicia. You get this novel. Thanks for playing. You get Zach Butcher's copy of Dan Simmons, <laughs> The Rise. Of... Thank you, Zach Butcher. Along with two ice cubes. Sorry, Zach. She's got your fucking book now. No, they're it's, not. They're it actually takes quite a while. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. I Let's give it up for Alicia. Thank you so much, madam. If I was thinking about whether to m change locations with my partner and then that was the answer, as cloudy as it is, I would focus on the idea that what that, what that passage is saying is, uh, as unsatisfying as the answer might be, uh, uh, you, you go, lo relocate or don't, just don't uh, just stick with this. Uh, person, just make sure it's what you both want to do, right. uh, because as long as you're with him, uh, you, you, you it won't. It, it, you, you can't pick a wrong place, yeah. right? Oh. oh yeah, unless it's a very sunny place, because he'll get skin cancer. <laughs> Hell yeah! More like the Walk of Fame, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I had a dream the other night where I kept pulling uh, pine needles and pine branches out of my mouth like I ate a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> and then last night I had a dream where I kept pulling glass shards out of my mouth like yeah. my teeth were punched crystals. I had a dream last night. I was going to the bathroom. I was, uh, I was peeing, standing up. That was up, no dream. And uh, <laughs> there were like bullet holes in the, in the toilet. And I was like, what are all these bullet holes doing in the toilet? And a guy came in and shot me. And <laughs> as I was dying in the dream, I said, why didn't I just jump out the window? <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up. <laughs> I had a, I just remembered a crazy dream I had on uh, one of the, the flights, which was, uh, uh, yeah, it was a fucking insane, like super vivid, weird. Uh, there were these... Dolls, uh, I was trying to like construct, and they, uh, when they were completed, they had the uh, they would generate these uh, uh, portals out of their face that were like these hula hoops in space that would like come out of their mouths and then and then and then get like it would be in 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 space in front of them and if you put your head through the hula hoop you were like in a different world and like it was really freaky and i started to realize all too late that the dolls were part of some race of like things that wanted me to finish the dolls so that they could take over and like some kind of thing of like, like a gateway to Rick and Morty just, season five. I just remember like <laughs> I just remember like running from them with Cody and like and then there was like the there, there was like these guys that were like agents of these dolls or something. Yeah. That's so fucking cool. Yeah. You dream when you when you dream a lot. Is Cody usually there? I, Cody's in my dreams a lot, but I I really typically do not. I mean, when people say you dream for sure every night, but yeah. then it's a question of what you remember. Uh, but I, I well, let's just say, if, if, if remembering your dreams is what we call dreaming, I really don't have, I don't really don't dream a lot. I have, But when I do, I have like these super vivid dreams. I shared on this podcast like this crazy dream I had that was like, like where it was like literally dreaming within dreaming and like, like, like in the dream waking up. And then like, I, I, I talked about that here. And it, was, it was in a different house, but it was also a new house that I was sharing with Cody that was also unfurnished. And then, like, in the dream, like, the scary shit happened because I heard a noise and walked out of there. Some scary shit happened. And then I, in the dream, which I did not know was a dream, I fucking woke up in bed it, with Cody in a new house and was like, 
I, and sh- like just like in the movies when they had when they do these mislead dreams where the, but you're, it was like Cody was like are you all right like it was and I was like yeah I just had this crazy nightmare talked to her about it started go- like laying back down heard a noise and like walked and explored it and then fucking woke up in the in the in real in, in what I assume is real life <laughs> but now can never really know <laughs> like like it may as well not be because w- what are the rules here like this could be a fucking dream. Do your dogs ever dream? Do you ever catch your dogs dreaming? Oh, like, oh yeah, N- Nigel is like yeah. he, I, I, oh, I, I, yeah. Nigel does not sleep without at some point going up. <laughs> and it's, you just like I I always like torn between like I I can't you look at a dog. Yeah. They sound distressed when they're making noises in their sleep, but then again you're kind of like what would how would you know if a dog was having the time of their life in the in a dream like cuz it's like my instinct is like let them know it's okay. You know, wake them up. Like, hey, it's yeah, all right. Yeah. Like, like, because you assume that they're like running from something in their dream. But what if they're like chasing something? Those are the two modes of dog, right? Yeah. Like, you don't want to take that away from them if they're like about to catch an ostrich Lolly, with, a, with a with a with a with a fire hydrant for a head or whatever. Lolly Gary Larson. Yeah, yeah. What do they dream about? Do they dream about like <laughs> taking a nap? I mean, what do they do all day? I was like, remember that Gary Larson cartoon where the dog, when do, the dog is dreaming and the, the dog is on top of an overturned car and he's like howling in victory. <laughs> he caught a car. And in the in the in the natural in the in that Gary Larson book, the uh, 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 the Far Side Natural History book, like he goes into all this detail about how like because there's a whole section about like uh, times his cartoons like caused an uproar, and that that was one of them because the dog, the way he drew it, the there's just a certain percentage of people saw that cartoon and thought the dog was fucking the car. <laughs> And it's like, like, and he's just like, I get, I mean, there's a part of the car that, like, I guess is like tangential to the dog's pelvis, like, like, but it's like, why would the car have a vagina? Like, why would I? Why did they? Why would they think that the dog? That the reason dogs chase cars is, and why would they think they wo- Those people woke up in a world where, uh, lest they're vigilant enough. The guy who created the far side might just every once in a while on Sunday morning treat your family to an image of a dog fucking a car. Like, like unless you, like, Joe Q Citizen, like, are, are on your shit with your pen ready to go and your stamps ready to lick, like, to the local paper. Do, like, do, that's do you what, remember the beef that he got? Uh, remember Cow Tools? There, there was a cow with, like, 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 with, yeah, like, yeah, a, people with, with like, like, a, like, a, like a blacksmith's apron on. And a cow standing upright on two legs, and and it was he was standing in front of a, like a table, and there was these really w- weird kind of oblong, m- misshapen like you don't know what they are, and it's it just like like a four or th- three things, and it said cow tools, and people were all fucked off about that because they didn't get it, they didn't like it, they were mad about it, and he had to write a retraction. He said, it's Cows don't make good tools. <laughs> but they th- didn't they think like they were like dildos and stuff or something? <laughs> people were, it, it was inflammatory. It was really good. It's funny. I said like dumb people, they live in this world, like this beautiful world where like they're the only smart ones. <laughs> and they're the only ones that care. But it's the opposite. They're the only ones that don't care and they don't know <laughs> anything. So they get on the freeway, they're just like, and everyone's like, and they're like, you idiots. And, and, they, and then they just see something that offends them if they yeah. don't get the joke. And they're like, instead of saying, I don't get it, they're just like, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> what the, do you the, mean? Uh, I, You're going to fuck that, that, that guy. I the, really feel <laughs> like the hate mail that Gary Larson got for cow tools was like people thought that they, they took personal offense to it. And I don't know what that's based on. <laughs> because it's just a drawing of something that looks like kind of like a baby's rattle with a little thing on it. Yeah, like, like it just like, like it was really. I just looked at it. It was really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's like a saw that looks like it's made out of bread or something. <laughs> it's the funniest joke. It's of really all funny time. because like, like there's like like I, I love bad jokes, but there's there's certain jokes that you can only tell people that that like anti humor, and that's a really anti joke joke. Uh, like the guy you know who's half half his head's a pumpkin. That's a joke that people only laugh at if you like like comedy and also know <laughs> that. The rules can be broken for the sake of comedy. 
Uh, yeah, I think we talked we talked about that book before on this podcast. But what what are you gonna do? Cancel me? Uh, <laughs> there's five episodes left. But the, the the other section of that book that's great is the handful of times uh, that for some reason whenever there was a mistake it would be uh, 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 the far side's captions getting swapped with the family circus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so like Billy's walking up to his mom and saying what a caveman fortune teller is supposed to be saying to a caveman, which is Billy looking up at his mom and saying, I see your skull on a shelf in an anthropologist's office. <laughs> <laughs> that really happened? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Family uh, Circus is a fucking freak out. Uh, we, uh, when I used to work at Disneyland uh, doing a, a sketch show where I used to like, play a drag character in Frontierland, we would take Family Circus every day and then tear off the caption and then write our own caption, and it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like, just, it's always funnier because nothing happens in Family Circus except just like oblique sadness. That was my first time taking acid. It, 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 it like when the acid trip was kind of like winding down, which is also though sometimes when you get really punchy, like 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 acid could be more like, oh my god, whoa, yeah, and that like totally like giggles and stuff. But then as the acid tapers off, as I remember in my youth, I haven't done a ton of acid except in my youth. But like 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 it's like kind of tapers off into like a kind of like almost mushroomy kind of like giggly thing. And uh, I just remember, like, the sun coming through the windows and listening to music. And we just, for some reason, had this giant stack of Milwaukee journals. That, and we were just go just going through every family circus, like, on acid, like, looking at every single one. And we're like, wait, what? It's, it was insane. That cartoon is really insane, if, we are, if you're on acid. What's this dotted line doing, man? Why, is it, why, do, we, why do we care where this kid has been? <laughs> yeah. How many goddamn times are they going to do this big family circus where they show you where the kid also, the, was the, all day? The, the, oh, man, he went the, over the, the fence kid, twice. The little kid was named Jeffrey, so people would always send me things saying, like, like Jeffrey told... There's one... It's so fucking abstract, and, like, it's, it's not funny. I, I, I don't know the point of view. Like, like, what the fuck is going on? And, Mommy, Jeffrey totaled his tricycle. Mm -hmm. And it was Jeffrey crying with a tricycle on its side. Yeah. Because apparently, like totaling your car was a new phrase back in 1970. Oh, so it was like it was yeah, kind of yeah. like yeah, yeah, uh, and it's, it's like that, like oh, I, that's I, I don't get it. But I thought Garfield was good and funny. It, it, but guess what? Nope, it, nope, you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, I, I, I'm in that boat. Yeah, I mean, I had I had Garfield I notebooks, Garfield. backpacks. Oh, yeah. I was like, Garfield's the best. Yes. And then, and then you look back and you're like, what happened there? Because it was like the war on drugs. We just all bought it. <laughs> <laughs> because this cat's so yes, fat. At, at, the, at the age of seven years old, I never considered whether or not I would or would not do Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was. A, I, I guess it was just like we hadn't seen a cat portrayed as so. Have you watched the self? Selfishly, like, like, like go, we go no through, cats could be so go back <laughs> to the, solipsistic. Go back to the annals of Garfield and watch his feet grow, because by the end of like, like current Garfield, his feet are like forty-two inches long, <laughs> and he he has parts of a cat that cats don't have. It's all fucked up. Um, parts that a cat doesn't have. Yeah, but like like he has like 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 a flimbus. Like no, like. I don't know eyebrows. Like I don't know. He, it's just like he, it's a it's a shitty drawing of a cat. Snoopy doesn't look much like a dog, but he, it's still recognizable as a dog. Snoopy <laughs> looks like an abomination. <laughs> Charlie Jesus Brown Christ, doesn't look like a human being. Charlie Charlie Brown looks like a m member of Congress. Like he he's a. <laughs> God damn it! I bought a spider house. There's supposed to be fucking spiders in my house. What is going on? It got away. Cody sent me a spider. picture Sorry. of this giant <laughs> spider. While we were away, I, I hope we drop the ad in there. <laughs> I hope yeah, we, come back we gotta from put the ad there. Kettlebell Kitchen. I said, "Did you kill it?" She said, "It got away. It ran." Now it knows. <laughs> now it knows what you look like and your intentions. It's, it's teaching itself how to learn, Dan. I smashed it a little, so it's possible injured, but it's gone. If you if you can if you can smash a spider no. and it runs away, that happens. I told you about the spider that I pulled out of my ear and I stepped on it as hard as I could, and the spider went and fucking bone yeah. out. 
Stepping on spiders. Like, like spiders is not don't a give a plan. shit about your foot. They, 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 they don't care about mass and energy. I tried they, to smoke <laughs> it. She says, I tried to smoke it out from under the nightstand with Palo, Palo Santo. Hell yeah. They like that. What a valley girl. <laughs> she uh, tried to smoke it out from under the nightstand. I, 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 man, there's somebody, there's all these mosquitoes. So you, you, have, you know, there's this new breed of mosquito in LA that, like, that only needs a teacup of water to have a million babies, and they, and they're smart, and they like only bite your ankles because they're like, they, they understand. There's, I, they, these things are all over my Dan, house. You know Dan, about these new mosquitoes? Dan, no. What Dan, about Dan, the new mosquitoes? You still fucked off from when we tried to make you look at a book or something like that. Like, it's so what? quiet. You've just been fuming <laughs> over there. What? The last what? thing you said was red. <laughs> I think it's just like sitting there like, I'm going to fucking kill you in your sleep. You know the thing with those new mosquitoes? I was mosquitoes, listening to the Garfield story. <laughs> every time the new mosquitoes come out, the old ones stop working. <laughs> the old ones stop working. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Harmontown. <laughs> did it, did, Do they did, really turn off old phones? I don't. I mean, I've, they stop working. Obviously, they won't admit it, but it just seems uncanny when the new phones are coming out. Doesn't your old shit like start getting all glitchy? They yeah. did find some sort of thing. Like it's not. They I don't said, think it was they pronounced. Said, they said they did because every, every time there's a new uh, iPhone, my speaker or, like I can't hear. Like it instantly goes out. The That's day, just age. Ooh. I've, got more, I've got more Garf- Garfield stories. Here. I, I, that guy used to look different than he does now. <laughs> he used to be like a big, fat, weird thing. <laughs> I, 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 when they started leasing phones, I was like, come on, man. That's my hot take. <laughs> the, thing, the, the thing I'm going to miss most about Harmontown is the trenchant commentary on social <laughs> social life like that. I like the hand gesture that the listeners at home won't see. So many fucking yeah. spiders. They should have called it Spider House. <laughs> what, be, be, because there's Isn't one spider? Monster House? Do you have three million dollars and no spiders? Let what? us solve both of your problems. <laughs> yeah. Have zero dollars and three million spiders. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Bob Spider, realtor. <laughs> Why, do, do you want the convenience of living in a spider's nest without having to be a spider? Come on down to this fucking hacienda. How many spiders have you seen? At least six. How in many a, rooms do you have? At least seven. No, I've seen a Stay bunch in the of seventh like, since room. I've I was cruising around that house since before furniture one showed up, and there's just been I, I clocked at least 20, 30 spiders or in the back of those times. And these are probably new spiders. This is probably generation six or seven. And while we're complaining about stuff, my old house in Los Feliz, I went over well, there ants. recently. <laughs> <laughs> there's rat turds all over the basement. Oh, shit. Yeah. Literally. Because I went over there to, Yay. you know, throw out my sex doll. <laughs> and there were fucking, like, the, 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 that basement has been a party for You some... still have the, the real doll from way back No, when... he threw it out. Not anymore, <laughs> brother. No, but you, but that, you bought that a long, long time ago. Yeah. Well, then, how did you dispose of that? Just in the dumpster? Or what? Called Levy. <laughs> You want to ask Levy what he did? I, I, that I want to ask him. That Let's bring out Steve Levy yeah. to find out the answer to that question. <laughs> Hello. Thanks, everybody. Oh, remember last episode we were talking about your quote-unquote Jufro. Yeah, that's a way. That went Self, away. Self-applied. I wouldn't be so anti-Semitic. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, I would I call that. it a regular fro. You applied your ha- Jufro? I, I applied for a Jufro. <laughs> <laughs> Let and me know how I go. You, you look, well, those are on back order. You look, you look a little bit like A-Rod now. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh. He's roiding, too. I, are you roiding? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask for this. I kind of just go to a guy and he just goes, you know. Um, but 
That's interesting. He, he's just like, all right, I'm just like, yeah, just make it shorter. And then it's like every time it's a different work of art for him. He's a hair artist. I don't know. That's what he considers himself, right? All right. So, sure. Um, but I saw Waldron this morning, and he was like, nice Richard Spencer. And I was like, fuck. Fuck. Richard Spencer? <laughs> yeah. That? I mean, what does he look like? He just looks like... Apparently he's got a haircut like this. Nah. I don't know. Well, I mean, you know. Look. That's... <sighs> Anyway, well, all right. So, look, yeah, I call Levy's no longer my assistant. He's now an executive, my executive. <laughs> uh, yeah, but my Yee! new my new assistant. I'm not gonna ask so her hard. to throw away <laughs> a box the size of a child's coffin. She couldn't lift with it with Chinese lettering and Dan Harmon written on it in magic marker. <laughs> she f- she wouldn't be able to lift it. Uh, well, yeah, she'd have to hire some people that I was, I was like, she'd man, have to hire this is crazy. Like, how do you get rid of one of these fucking things? I, I've never, fu- I called a morgue. Like, I, uh, w- was this the original <laughs> doll that you bought a long They'll time ago? They'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> uh, Dan, was, was this, was this doll number one or she did, died from did having a more? metal skeleton inside of her? It was, a, there was a, there was a, it was, it was the, there was a second doll. There was a second doll. On the grassy knoll. <laughs> Uh, so I texted Levy. <laughs> well, we we made a deal, right? Because yeah. I you, you were like, oh, they need you to come back for a record uh, before the screening of this, and I'm like, I'm yeah. I'm over here with up to my for, knees. For those of business. you who don't know, uh, we've been talking a lot about all of our celebrities that are voicing characters on Rick and Morty, but really, like. You're you're the new Ryan Ridley in terms of voice. You're you're, you're a lot of really funny characters. You you guys will see Dan Harmon, Rick great voice actor. Check it out. Some of the some of the funny characters that you'll be seeing on Rick and Morty, but mostly hearing are yeah. Have you heard uh, Mr. I, Egg? Dan, I I, I heard that uh, you do uh, you Captain do, Yeast. You do Harvey Fight. <laughs> You do Harvey They're Firestein. They're all food related. Did, can we hear your F- Harvey Firestein that, that you're doing on season? Uh, Harvey Firestein. Yeah. Fire- sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, continue. Yeah, we made this. We needed you to come in to record some <laughs> of your characters. Right. Uh, yeah. So, so, then, so then you needed me, and I was in the middle of like moving stuff, and I'm like, all right, look, I'll make you a deal. Because I had just finished like wrapping this greasy box up. <laughs> And was like, who, how am I gonna fucking? What do you do with this thing? Like, like everyone has one friend with a pickup, and maybe like knows where a dump is. Like, I've led a privileged life, and uh, I just have this body in a box. <laughs> it's like it really—it's it's like two hundred pounds. Yeah, it's because very the, heavy. The 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 skeleton is titanium. Yeah, on these uh, things, they got and, a uh, recycle like Wolverine. So I. <laughs> I just kind of wrapped it up in two layers of plastic bag, the box, and like wrapped duct tape all around it. And then I texted Levy a photo of it sitting on my bedroom floor. I was like, if you come over here and this thing is gone when I get back, like, then I'll go to work right now. Uh, uh, and he's like, deal, I'm on my way. And I was like, it's like, it's like an old like political thriller. Like, you literally know where the bodies are buried. It was quid pro quo. Yeah. Where did you where did you take it, Levy? Or, or so I um, and who'd you call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Yay! So I I, I went up to Dan's bedroom, assessed this giant box. <laughs> I brought tape and a sharpie of my own just in case you didn't you weren't able to cover up cross your name. out the name Dan Harmon yeah, on this yeah. box. I don't know what you have yeah. at your house. Whatever. So um, it's it is a really heavy box. I but know. I, it, it, <laughs> It was probably. Why are you telling me? It was probably between eighty and a uh, hundred and fifteen pounds. No, it's over a hundred. It's got to be. Well, Maybe I lifted not. the whole thing. It really gave me a glimpse into a the life of like a serial killer because, like, I we, we've joked about in my youth with my fetishes and things and me getting like mannequin legs and things like that. But these are just hollow plastic things and like, like, but uh, this. Body and it was like and and like and the idea of getting rid of it it was like it was like and and the whole thing being like this needs to go away as opposed to this thing is a thing that you can have like like and just store it somewhere but it's like the idea of like this needs to go away and no one needs to ever find it like it was like a it was this introduction in my head I was sort of like <clears throat> God can you imagine if it was also rotting and like was Full an actual blood. crime instead of just a thing that could ruin your life uh, and make everyone laugh at you. But like, it was sort of like, like, like 
minus the fact that it's actually heavier than an equal sized body would be, it was like just such a weird uh, glimpse. It, into isn't that there world. like a on, on the real doll website like an FAQ portion, or like how do I dispose of this when I'm when I'm when I'm through? I don't it? think they want to shine a light on the fact that these things are actually you know that they must eventually go away. <laughs> I think pet stores are the same Did way. Did you have any, like... <laughs> they, don't, they don't say, hey, look at this Maltese ticket to, to a fucking heartbreaking tragedy seven years from now. <laughs> did you, uh, seven? Did you have any, like... <laughs> on I, average? I, I, I'm guessing the answer is no, but did you, did you have any, like... How much time did you spend with this doll, and did, did you feel kind of any weird attachment to it? Like, not, not like in a human way, but like... like the, no. Uh, they're, they're <laughs> Bye, Laura. Bye. <laughs> She wanted you to say yes. S- Steve. Yeah. Did you look inside? No. God, no. That's Steve, not part of the job. I, Steve, did you fuck it? I was curious, like, what the head looked like. Uh, I'm not. Uh, not fu- like, at, just like, I don't he know what these it. things he, actually look. I don't, he I've he never looked it. up a picture. They're online. Of a, you could see that Yeah, online. I know. I guess I could have. I could, but whatever. You should have. I thought that maybe there was some, like, sentimental value, because... Because a dummy, because you know, it's like it inspired a show. Well, I, yeah, I sent I sent a photo of the box all taped up to Cody, who I don't think ever saw it. She was always asking me, "Can I please see it?" And I'm like, "No, because I, I'm ashamed of it." You know, like I, I like I don't. It's like one thing to be honest about having it. Uh, it's another thing. I don't want you looking at it. Like I, it's I guess, <laughs> it's like I like I me sitting up here saying like I have a small dick, and I was like I don't like like show you it like. Uh, <laughs> Like, cause Cody's I, never seen your dick. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Levy had to put it in a box and dispose of it. <laughs> uh, I will say one one thing uh, that, like, for people, I don't know, just like, 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 because I just these like graphic details. Now that I imagine, I am a a previous sex doll owner that will never probably own another one. Uh, uh, the, the, the one weird detail about it is... Probably. The, the arm, the shoulder joints, like, like, like it, it, you imagine, like, you're dealing with this thing that has, like, this skeleton, and it's, like, it has ball and socket joints where the shoulders are. It has, I think, ball and socket joints where the hips are, because you want to be able to... G.I. Joe the thighs wherever you want but then the then the knees and the elbows are simple 90 degree like whatever you know or whatever you call it like they 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 rotate on one axis not 360 but the shoulders and the hips are ball and socket so while the well for the legs that's not really a problem because you're not gonna like move the legs in a way that you're going to then forget like like it's like the legs are just a bigger deal the arms however should you be deciding to i don't know put a special outfit on this thing <laughs> a cute top you picked out <laughs> like you you're going to be like you're going to be moving the arms like up and then and then you'll be mo- you might you might move the arms down, and then you might move the arms this way, and then you might move the arms the this way, and then in the in the, the there's like a, what we would call in the three D animation business kind of like a gimbal lock kind of effect that can happen where where the 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 root rotation is kind of lost, and you can notice over time like by the this thing was in the box, and I was like, like the 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 biceps had just become like. Twizzlers, like they were <laughs> twisted because the arms at some point had been rotated 360 degrees. But, but Dan, so, some people find that pretty sexy. Yeah. <laughs> well, also the fact that the silicone uh, skin, which, you know, uh, health experts will tell you is constantly off gassing. Like, uh, so it's probably like, a, what, what the fuck what? is that? <laughs> it's spider. the spider. <laughs> Long web. Man, if they ever make flying spiders, I'm going to kill myself. Well, they say spiders actually do fly. Yeah. Because of the... the, Didn't you see... That's uh, how they are able to spin their web so large. Far from home? What? They say... Okay, so, Dan, listen up. You you just think no one can look this up? Spiders spiders shoot out a silk that goes in the air, and then it catches, like, electron particles or something in the air, and then it it magnetically propels them like they're surfing or flying a kite. All right. Well, then I'm already dead. Oh, yeah. So is Jeff. 
Uh, so is the audience. Yeah, I think that thing's like a bat. That... All right. So sex doll. Wait, what was the? Oh, there's a one other thing. So, so, the, so, the, so you're the, fucking one a, other thing. You're for fucking a Twizzler. Future, and you mean fucking it for future sex doll owners? I do want to tell you one more thing. Um, like, watch those fingers because the fingers are wires. They're just like Gumby. Like, so if you care, I mean, I didn't. I'm like, I'm not like a finger guy. So, but it's like, I'm a big. They're just gonna guy. eventually just always be like in this permanent state of like a witch about to cast a spell. Shop's doing a funny. Let Steve that's, take a picture. That's a pretty good. <laughs> uh, Hubba, hubba. And then, and don't lay it down on anything with I- ink in it. Like, uh, if you were to lay, because like because the silicone is like, right, yeah. it's sort of like, <laughs> like silly putty. <laughs> so it's like the silicone silly putty. is sort of like a, you know, it's like they say, they can't like store old Star Trek like prosthetics because that si- silicone is like constantly in a, f- it's like, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like, it's like slowly turning to goo. Just very slowly, which is what like, you want. Um, and, and, and in the short term, though, you could, if you were like to take a silicone like like form and like lay it on something that had like a like a cardboard box that had like writing on it, like, then that writing could be on its a tattoo on its arm forever. <laughs> so <laughs> what was on hers? This side up. Yeah. Well, no, well what, no. what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> what did it say, FedEx? <laughs> huh? Uh, it was. It was. Not, I mean, I want. I want it to be something fun, but it was just. No, it was just green. It was just fucking whatever. I whatever it was laid on. It wasn't at one a point, speck or anything. It was just like it's. it's so 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 I looked down at this <laughs> thing as a as a before I saw it for the last time, and it was just like these like, twisted arms <laughs> with, that were all like they really did look as I imagine almost like decomposing like like discolored like greenish bluish right. horrifying like like, uh, like, like like the sister in Pet cemetery. yeah <laughs> did you say the face is all fucked up like the neck is like open yeah the neck the neck the neck got like a tear in it at some point and unless you're gonna what, like what super was your, glue it or, then uh, you, what was your first interaction when you got your first one? Because I remember that we you got your first. Hello. You got your. You what got your first real doll. Here? And oh. We, did, we didn't see you for a while. You 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 said you said quite candidly that you're going to go away for a Daniel. while. My name's Daniel. But when you first got out of the no, box, don't you don't have to talk. <laughs> let, let me just let me just look at you for a second. Oh. Oh, that's very interesting. You say your shoulders are sore. <laughs> I'm like trying moves on. I, I wait. I, I spent yeah, six months. Yeah, we can months, watch like... a movie if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am tired too. <laughs> a bed? Yes, I have one. Why do you ask? I mean, we're talking about. I could two... drag you to the other room. <laughs> Don't touch my fingers. <laughs> Throw your octopus hands in the bed and. <laughs> did, did, did you ever take a nap? Like, did you ever, did you ever like cuddle? Like, was there was there like any postcoital stuff? No. Or... You ever warm it up? Water it up. Warm it up. Throw it in the microwave. Warm it up like no. an electric blanket, so it's got some. No, body I put pantyhose on it, rubbed the toes on my nipples, jerked off, fell asleep. That'll warm you right up. I, I honestly wouldn't if I were if I if 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 guys like I'm gonna be with Co- Cody. Cody is like Cody. Cody eliminates the need for any any uh, extracurricular. Uh, just I'm not. Let's uh, let's maintain our privacy. But um, she's she, she, like I, I don't I don't need products anymore. But um, uh, the if I if 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 in an alternate universe, you, knowing what I now know as a consumer, just to, to shed light on my experience with these products, I would only, I would just get on Amazon now. You can just get there's like you can pick the you can get just a foot. You can get just a calf and a foot. You can get just a calf, foot, and thigh. You, you can, can get, get a foot with a pussy in it. The va- <laughs> yes, you can. The which vajankle. is really weird because the pussy is in the ankle. The vajankle. So yeah. for Why guys that you- are like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I just want to look at the foot, but upside down, God, I always just wished there was a pussy there. 
And it's shaped like a pussy, which is weird. Because it's like, wait, how yeah. could you have ever yeah. wanted that as a primate? Like, that doesn't exist in nature even close. <laughs> like, it's not like... I, I, I want just a calf. Um, just a calf. Yeah, the, but you can, you can, I think, I th- you know, it's like you can also just get just the ass and two legs, which I think maybe from, based on everything I've learned and know, that's probably the kind of guy I am. As far as the use I'm going to get out of an artificial female body, I, I'm pretty much good to go. Like, like with a pair of fake legs and things, you know, like I wouldn't, I just, I just find the, uh, it was like, like, I, I, I'm not a, uh, good caretaker. <laughs> I, 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 and, 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 you know, ne- never been a boob man and, uh, didn't, you know, it's like, it, 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 I, I, I would be, I was excited at the prospect cause I love, well, who you know, was like, oh, you could get it wigs, and you can. But the thing you find out really quickly is, hey, you know, uh, human women like they uh, they really take really good care of their hair. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really a constant battle against tangling, and you can't just not care about something and like have it also be this thing that you find really. Uh, Way to go, human women! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got like seven. This what did you do you. with the? What I'm, did you I'm do proud with of you. What did you do with the the crate? I, yeah. I, I, I be, lit- it'd be vague because we don't want somebody digging it up somewhere and going. Oh, yeah, I got yeah, yeah, yeah. it. I um. Well, we're going to announce a, a strange kind of contest now. <laughs> <laughs> the prize is two hundred thousand uh, dollars in the form of a scholarship, uh, and of course Two your, detectives your school. own half rotted sex doll with <laughs> green twisted arms. Uh, no, uh, I, I, I lifted up this enormous box uh, and I carried it down the stairs and all the way down to my car and then I loaded it into my back seat because it was uh, it's the only space size. I could have f- fit it in. Um, it was a weird long box. Body. And then I got in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I, I don't... I, well, the first thing I thought was I, I, I passed a dumpster on the way here, but I feel like that's not safe enough. Just in case some random person was digging through and saw this taped up box, I was like, it still had Dan's name on it somewhere underneath all that wrapping. I was like, yeah, it's not, it's not a good idea. So I called Spencer, and yeah. I was like... And you know what I, how I felt when I t- fielded this call? <laughs> why did he not call me? Why did, why did Dan not ask me to take care of this? This is classic Spencer job. <laughs> but you've, I was you've, hurt. You've been free a long time. I know, but it would have been an insult to call you. I would have. I was hurt. I was like, man, I really thought we had something. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you're, you're the Harvey Keitel to his. Uh, <laughs> I'm the Wolf. That's yeah, what that yeah. guy was called, right? Yeah. In uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Well, Spencer. Spencer gave me a lot of great options. His his were really buttoned up. Like I. We would have gotten away with it for sure. We did. It, 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 uh, yeah. It, it was a lot more work, though. And, uh, I called our PA up on, our, who now writer's assistant on Rick and Morty. Oh, good. And I... Um, <laughs> See, this is what I mean. No, no, no. I just said, hey, where's the, where's the, where's the best dumpster you know? <laughs> Not too far from the office. And he suggested a, a really great one. And that's where the shouldn't body be too hard dumped. to figure out. So if you could triangulate the location, well, it's not still there. The dumps. Uh, and there's a lot of dumps. It was today. It wasn't today. No, it today. wasn't today. It wasn't. I was you with you all idiot. day today. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that the dumpsters, uh, like like uh, waste management ser- services, are straight up hooked up with TMZ, and they're gonna fucking find out about this, and they're gonna say that Dan Harmon threw. Well, out I think I've been pretty much. I don't think there's anything left to do except I like I said. You just you know, look at the thing; it's embarrassing. But I think I've been pretty forthcoming with the fucking details. I, I, I hope we live in a society where fucking uh, honesty buys you something. But I know we don't, so we're ending the podcast. And uh, in the meantime, I'm not gonna go out lying. I'm going to go out and go, this hey, was... I threw out my fucking sex doll. Here's what it looked like. Like, like all right, go find it. But it's, uh, it's greasy and gross. 
It's covered in cigarette This burns. was weeks ago. <laughs> this thing is long gone. <laughs> Do you think there's like like waste management people that find a used real doll and go like, hey. did we you don't we send all that stuff to China? <laughs> oh, yeah, we they don't love anymore. It. We used to send all our garbage to China. Yeah, they we buy did? it up. Yeah, they stopped. Yeah, they stopped like they recently. Stopped taking They're it. like, we're we're done. We we've got all the we're garbage full. we need. Thank you. <laughs> I never knew. And then we, we were, were like, well, what are we gonna do with all our garbage now? Keep it. That's what we did. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That is what they did. Yeah, we don't want it anymore. <laughs> yeah, they could have got a whole skeleton of titanium. Yeah. That's valuable. Wait, so we were like always constantly like lambasting China for falling behind in the terms of like the global like uh, pollution standards and stuff, and we, we were, were like just giving them our shit. You know, America is like we have less. Uh, we're like shoveling shit oh, over. They to used them. to be like you're throwing out all this stuff. This is a good TV. What are you doing? <laughs> China was just like that uh, like character in the scavenger zone of every cyberpunk movie. Like, pushing the a recycler? Uh, poop van. All right, well, poop that's it. Too. What, what, what do we got to plug? Spencer, don't you have a... Uh, a... Harma Quest still exists. Uh, it's all out, so you can watch it on a free trial now if you want. Um, email them and tell them to put it out of the America if you want to see it out of the America and tell them to uh, give us another season. I also did YouTube uh, 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 commentaries of this season so you can you can see like a goblin and be like, you know, the thing about that goblin is he used to be red or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fun. And then, I don't know. Are, yeah. are we going to get another season? Do we know about that yet? I don't know about that. I, I And we won't know for probably... Too long, like an embarrassing amount of time. So that's why you got to tell them, be all like, oh man, I meant to give you guys money, but next time I will if you do another season or something, you know. <laughs> Cliffhanger! Oh, okay. Thanks, only, guys. only I get the plug. Thank you all for coming. Oh, shit! Oh. And we're trying to clear our stock of 2019 Let's Honda give it over CRVs. To, let's give it up for Steve Levy, everybody. Give it up for Laura Austin as the um, inflatable crazy arm person. <laughs> also, Zach up there, Church, Brendan, Nolan, everybody here at the Dynasty Typewriter. Rob Schraub, Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Dan Harmon is your mayor. Thank you for coming. Drive fast and take chances. Thank you all. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.